All right, we're going to find the area of a regular polygon, and we're going to start with one of the more easier or simpler ones. Um, we have a hexagon here, and uh, uh, let's say usually what happens in a problem like this is they might give you a 10 centimeters as the length of all the sides. Regular means that all the sides are the same, all the angles are the same. So you might stop the video and just see if you can find, solve this thing. Uh, it involves some trig or some right triangle knowledge uh, or just general triangle knowledge, but see if you can do it. And maybe you've done these before and you're just looking for practice, so here's your chance to practice. Okay, so if you're back with me, um, there's lots of ways to break this thing up. Uh, a lot of times I give this kid to, to my students and just ask them, solve it, see what they come up with. A lot of times I'll break it up into a tra two trapezoids. Um, and, you know, this is 10 and this is 10. And so it's just a matter of coming up with some angles and coming up with this height here. And you've got this problem whipped. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Uh, and I'm not going to go into that, but there's lots and lots of ways to do this. But one way that, the one that's probably the simplest is to just go ahead and split this thing up into congruent triangles. So we've got, we're going to draw basically what's called the radiuses of this, uh, of this polygon. And so if you find the area of one of these triangles, you'll find the area of all of them because you just multiply that by six. Well, first off, by dividing this thing into six triangles, we have six congruent angles going in a circle. Well, those six congruent triangles if, would add up to 360 because they form a full circle. So 360 divided by six is 60 degrees. Each one of these is 60 degrees all the way around. So we've got, we'll just concentrate on this bottom one now. And so we know that the base is 10 because the equilateral triangle is uh, all the same, not equilateral triangle. It is an equilateral triangle. Haven't proven that yet, but we know that the polygon is regular, so all the sides are 10. Well, let's go ahead and uh, start working on finding the area of this triangle on the bottom. Well, for a triangle, you need a height. In a polygon, that height is called the uh, apothem. Uh, and so that is that length right there. It has its own name. Just like these are called radiuses or a, or a radius, radii, that, is, that height is called the apothem. And so we just need to find that value. Well, when we split that thing in half, we also split that into a 60 degree, or we split that 60 degree angle. So that 60 degree angle put that back in, splits into 30. And this is 90 uh, because the radii are the same length. And this short piece is 5. So from here to here, now that's 5 centimeters. And I'll get rid of, let me get rid of some of that trash so it doesn't look so messy. So that there is 5 centimeters. And the top angle is 30. So you can go ahead and um, use Sokotoa if you want. Again, I'm going to use special right triangles. We know that it's one of those things that you really need to get used to. Uh, you don't have to, but I'm just going to pull that apart. That's 30 degrees. That means this has to be 60 degrees because they have to add up to 180. This means 90 degrees. And this length is 5. So we want this apothem. I'll call it A. Uh, so to find that, you can do a number of things. You could use uh, SOHCAHTOA or sine cosine tangent. Again, I told you I'm going to use special right triangles. So if, if you're given the short leg, we know the long leg is 5 root 3. Uh, if you didn't know that, you could, like I say, I would use uh, trig. So if we go from the 30 degree angle here, we'll use this angle. 5 is opposite. Uh, a is adjacent, so that's telling us to use tangent. So we know tangent of 30 
equals 5 over a. And, you know, you can go ahead and calculate that. Instead of 5 root 3, we know that tangent 30 is, I like to use Google Calculator. I have my kids use it all the time. So first thing, if we're dealing with angles, we're going to convert this to degrees right there by touching that. And so it was 30, tangent 30 degrees, so tangent 30, close your parentheses, just get in the habit of doing that. And so it's 0.5774 as an approximation. So back to my tangent 30 over 1 here, we're going to put, so tangent 30, we'll substitute 0.5774 over 1 equals 5 over A and cross multiply. So 0.5774A equals 5, then divide by 0.5774 on both sides. And again, you could get out your calculator. And there it is, 5 divided by 0.5774, or around 8.66. So this 5 root 3 is also the same as point, uh, 8.66. So you could use that instead of the 5. I'm going to go ahead and use the 5 root 3. Because again, college entrance exams want you to have this thing and have it quickly. They're all built so that you wouldn't have to necessarily use a calculator. So when we do this, then, we can go ahead and find the area of each of the triangles. So one of the triangles, just to remove some of the clutter, the base is 10, the height is 5 root 3. And so you just take 10 times 5 root 3 divided by 2. So that would be 50 root 3 divided by 2, which is 25 root 3. So every triangle in that hexagon is 25 root 3. So we have 6 of them, so you take 25 root 3 times the 6 triangles that we have, and so we only multiply numbers and numbers, roots and roots, so 25 is only times the 6, and so 25 times 6 is 30, 6 times 2 is 12, 13, 14, 15, so 150 root 3. Uh, if you would have used the height we got with the trig, you get about 259.8. And again, that's centimeters squared. So, top answer again, college entrance exam. Bottom answer, uh, what you'd need if you're going to the paint store or going to the uh, flooring store because you have this hexagonal room and you need to cover it with carpet. You know, how much car how many square centimeters of carpet do you care do you cover it with? Well, centimeters it obviously it wouldn't be a room. It might be ten meters. And so you'd need two hundred and fifty nine point eight meters squared of carpet. So that's how you'd come up with a hexagon. And so I hope this helps and see you next time.